Uh, first of all, I am coming to you from Tacoa, Georgia. The boat is in Green Cove Springs, Florida, which is just south of Jacksonville. By the way, I have made the trip from Tacoa, Georgia to the boat for doing work and all this other stuff 14 times, I think. It's, a, it's been either 14 or 15, but I'm going to err on the side of uh, caution and say 14. Our plan is to depart from Green Cove Springs, Florida for the Bahamas in November. Look at all of this hair. Pretty crazy, I know. I decided I was not gonna cut my hair again until we left for the boat. I've been kind of trimming up the sides just so I don't look absolutely ridiculous. But uh, I will be shaving all of this off again to go back into uh, what I like to call cruising mode. Now, I'm making this video uh, the day before I make either my 15th or 16th trip down to the boat. I'm getting everything ready here. And here is what you see. This is this is the dinghy, and I have this bag here, which is the backs to our settee cushions. We've been uh, recovering all of our uh, settee cushions. These are the backs. These are the rail pieces that uh, these backs are going to hang on. So I'm going to do that on this next trip down tomorrow. Uh, this is the hardware that's going to hold these rails in place. Let's see, let's see. We have a Windex that I'm going to be putting up on our mast, which is one of the very last things needed to uh, to do to the mast before the mast goes back up. I have some, uh, I call this stuff safety wire. This is to, um, this is to wire up the shrouds to the spreader tips, spreader tips. This is a propane alarm. We do not have one of these on the boat currently, so I'm going to install one of these guys for safety's sake, so we don't, uh, you know, get blown up. I'm bringing this. I'm going to bring this little bottle of propane too, just so I can, you know, put some propane on that alarm and test it out. Got some painting stuff. Got a couple little places I'm going to be patching up. This whole bucket without unloading all that. This is a saltwater washdown pump. It's got the hoses, the pump, the connectors, the fittings. All that stuff is in this bucket and I'm going to be installing all that stuff. Over here I have in the bottom of this bucket, this is our this is our anchor chain. I brought all this stuff back to clean it up and to paint new, uh, you know, marks on it so you can see, you know, every 50 foot increments of our chain. I rebuilt our uh, our snubber. You can see I did a uh, you know, spliced all this, uh, all these new loops and thimbles and shackles on there. This is a, a kind of a cool uh, chain hook that we have. We're going to be using that. This is a dinghy boarding step, and I built this thing to aid in, you know, basically getting from the dinghy, the new dinghy, onto the big boat. So I hope that this is going to work out good. I just want to get it down there and kind of go ahead and test it out a little bit. This is a uh, new anchor road that, uh, that I just kind of went through, put a new thimble on there. The one that was on there was all rusted up. Put this uh, monkey fist on the end of it. You know, you might be wondering what the heck the monkey fist is on the end of this rope for, but I'll show you that tomorrow. And I've got a shiny new 35 pound uh, Mantis anchor right here. So we wanted to upgrade our uh, ground tackle and since we're doing that I figured why not just go ahead and go with the very best. So there you go, Mantis Anchor. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Let's see, I thought of one other thing as I was as I was saying all that. What is it? Oh, oh, our timeline. I told you we are departing in November and that is true, but here, here's what's going on. We have three more trips to the boat before we depart. One is the trip I'm about to make tomorrow to the boat to do all this work I just told you about. Two is a trip that I will make with the girls towards the end of October, and that's going to be kind of to, to provision and to clean the boat and to put the mast back up, um, put the boat back in the water, you know, kind of do last minute things. And then finally, the third trip is going to be where you know, we load up the rest of our stuff. We're going to load up the dinghy back here into probably a U-Haul truck and then make the drive down to the boat 
and and that's it and that's going to happen that that third trip is going to happen uh sometime in november we're, we're thinking early november anyways just wanted to kind of communicate our timeline all right so that's really it wow i talked a lot more than i meant to but i, I hope that kind of clarifies a lot of stuff and kind of gets you up to speed a little bit okay let's get the car loaded up so i can get to green cove springs florida Don't go anywhere. All right. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We are now aboard the SB Sandfleet. Let's see. It is time to get busy. Ow! What the heck is that? Those little things are a pain in the butt. Or a pain in the ankle. Man, welcome to Florida. Oh yeah. The purpose of this video is one, I just want to get the ball rolling again with uh, the video series. But another part of it is, I kind of feel like maybe I've kind of lost my edge a little bit with these videos and narrating and very possibly even the editing. And uh, I'm using this as an opportunity to blow out the cobwebs, so to speak. So just bear with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. So here is something kind of cool that I wanted to show you. This is an Engel 45 quart. Uh, refrigerator and it can be run off of 12 volts uh, which it is right now it's plugged in that's what that little green light is or it can be run off of uh, 120 volts and it's just a very uh, it's a very efficient very reliable refrigerator so we can have a nice cool drink at the end of the day if I catch like a, a big fish like a mahi or a mackerel or something like that then we can um, you know, fillet it and, you know, keep the meat, that kind of thing. Anyways, it's just going to revolutionize. Revo. Revolu. It's going to really make cruising mo better for us. Yep. All right, what you see there is our Delta plow. And uh, this is this isn't a bad anchor. At least we haven't. Uh, it has served us well. It did drag in two occasions in the Bahamas when it was very very grassy bottoms. But aside from that, it actually did pretty good. But I think no matter how you slice it, this bad boy is a considerable improvement. <sighs> oh. It looks like that is going to work just fine. Okay, cool. Well, that, that is good news. Sweet. Next little thing I just want to test out is my dinghy boarding step. I've been really anxious to actually try this on the boat, so... There we go. And there we go. All right. Okay, the trouble is I want to step on it, but I don't want to step on it in my dirty shoes. And this is all wet and dirty. Oh, I know. Okay, here we go. I am standing on the platform. Pretty cool, huh? The biggest thing I was concerned about uh, regarding this dinghy step was what happens if you put all of your weight just way out here, you know, with the back end, you know, slide up like that. And I mean, it, it really, it really just doesn't want to slide up. Now, of course, that maybe if the hole is really wet or those ropes are wet, you know, whatever. I guess it still could happen, but I don't know. It, it seems, it doesn't seem very, very prone to do that. I mean, I'm putting uh, about half my weight on it or 40 pounds. So, yeah, I think it's good. Good morning. Uh, and it is in fact a new day, despite the fact that I am wearing exactly the same clothes as yesterday, so don't be fooled by that. And uh, today's 
big task is to install this saltwater washdown pump. And in front of me, I have all of the components that I'm going to be using. This is the intake hose. This is the output hose. This is a spray nozzle. That's the electrical wire. That's an electrical switch. These are two little pigtail hoses that attach to the pump itself. This is a intake strainer, and this is a inline 12 volt breaker. This is how small this locker is, by the way. It's like knee-high. Once you get inside, it's actually quite roomy, though. Oh, yeah! Uh-huh. It's cavernous. Let me show you my shop vac. I really like this little shop vac. Stanley 12 volt, it is one gallon, and it is a wet or dry shop vac. It has like a really, really long uh, power cord too, which is nice. It's, uh, I don't know, that power cord's gotta be like 20 feet long. Here, I will, I will demonstrate it for you. Ow. Observe. Now get the screws in here. Let's see. Observe. And ooh, four. So we're having a brief intermission because some idiot misplaced my wire stripping pliers. And I totally can't find them. So while I'm looking for my electrical pliers, I thought I'd grab a little snack, and that gave me an idea for a special challenge for you. Here are the rules. I'm gonna take one bite of this banana, and you are not to smile, laugh, make any kind of weird faces. You have to remain completely neutral. What do you say? Can you do it? One bite of the banana, okay? All right, let's see what you got. The challenge begins in three, two, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the pump is now wired. So hopefully, when I flip this breaker, the pump is going to, well, you know, pump. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Just like that, the pump does pump. And, it, and, it's, and it's okay. This one actually can run dry. Probably not for a extended length of time, but, you know, long enough to get the water pumped up from, from outside of the boat into the pump. So I learned something about bananas. Uh, apparently, uh, banana peels are uh, an intense laxative. Um, I didn't even swallow that bit of banana that I put in my mouth over there. Spit it right out, but I don't know. Uh, you know, a wave of um, necessity uh, came over me all of a sudden. And it wouldn't really be that big of a deal, but the, uh, the bathroom is about a quarter mile away by bicycle which really does add to the excitement of the situation but i don't know you know most likely when well, you won't find yourself being uh suffering the adverse effects of consuming banana peels but uh should you you know i, I just feel like it's good to know good to, good to share with you for what it's worth okay continuing on okay it is time to test so i have the red hose here going overboard to a bucket down there uh, and that is about eight feet down this pump is rated for uh, you know to pull water up six feet so I'm gonna I'm gonna you know test it a little further just for giggles and then this white and blue water line there is going up to my sprayer okay moment of truth let's see how it goes and I'm flipping it on right now 
Whoa, and there it is. Wow. Wash down pump installation is a success. I want to show you one other little detail about this pump, specifically concerning this strainer, that I thought was pretty cool. Okay, check this out. On the end of this strainer, I also... Oh, is that a drop of water on the... Oh, uh, oh okay, we're going to roll with it. On this strainer, I have a QD fitting here on the end of it. So I can pop the strainer off, and it's just a simple nozzle. And the reason I wanted to be able to take the strainer off is because if the dinghy fills with water, like, you know, from rain, I wanted to be able to just drop this hose over into the dinghy and suck the water out of the dinghy. I, I wouldn't be able to get much water out of it with the, uh, you know, with the strainer on the end, but I can suck it straight into this hose, and the water wouldn't really need filtering anyways since it's, uh, you know, just rain water. But anyways, QD fitting on the end, and that's why. Uh, sorry about this drop of water. Eh. Sorry. Can't help the weirdness, it's just part of the show.